780 backers, 3.189 million dollars pledge to that's right, the Blue Eddy EP 500 with 20 hours to go, folks. That's it. If you want to get in early for this one unit here, you're gonna have to do it within the next 20 hours. After that, I guess they go into production and then they start delivering. Uh, so you basically, uh, you, if you can, if you can, and if you take advantage of this, you you end up paying the the early bird. Uh, prices here right so there's a lot of questions about this one unit right this product and stuff and by the way i if you haven't i made a uh review of this one unit i received a pre-production version of it uh months ago a couple months ago and i did a video and which i kind of went through the whole process of just putting it to test and taking it apart and showing you the insides and testing the outputs and stuff all stuff you can go watch it i'll put a link on the description of this video. Uh, other than that, there's a lot of questions and you know, I feel like other people also reviewed this and they, uh, most of them did a better job than me. I kind of suck at reviewing stuff. But here is one thing that I am particularly well suited to answer. One of the questions is, can more battery be added to this unit, right? Because think about it five kilowatt hours is a lot of energy for a portable system but this is not a portable system right in my review i said well this is extra heavy it's like a over 150 pounds it mostly qualifies more as a you know stationary system and if you leave it or use it as a stationary system to like say power your house then five kilowatt hours is nothing. I mean, you'll go to that in like an hour sometimes. Some of you guys are so energy hungry that that's what will happen, right? So uh, asking the question, can this unit be upgraded with more battery? It's a very in interesting and important one, right? And it's very relevant. So let me show you how you can add more battery to the system. All right, imagine that you are prepared for the, uh, the contingency, right? Like if the, the power goes out, you're ready, you have your Blue Eddy 500 that you purchase, and you have it plugged in to your transfer switch. And this transfer switch, you know, you just switch those, flip those switches, and now your entire house or building, now it's uh, getting the power from the battery here, right? So you're ready to go. But let's say, that the power now has gone, right? You're in the middle of a power outage and it's been a few hours already. And so when now you check your Blue Eddy and it's like, oh my God, 7%. That means it's gonna shut down at any minute. And uh, even though you have all this equipment, then you're still gonna be without power, just like the rest of your neighbors, right? Um, this is not a, a weird occurrence. like. It, where I live, already this year, I've had two major power outages. One of them was like 12 hours long. And so this five kilowatt hours here would not have served and lasted the entire time, right? So what do you do, right? Well, enter batteries, external batteries. These are ESS batteries. There's several versions of these ones, these ones. Uh, are smaller, like five kilowatt hours, or what are they? Yeah, these are three point three and a half kilowatt hours, right? These ones right here are sixty volts. These ones right here are my favorite. These are seven and a half kilowatt hours worth of batteries. So it's a hundred and fifty percent more battery than the Blue Eddy right and in that little box which is pretty crazy it's pretty amazing so all i've done is i put i just made a, it's a cable right that goes on here and then it uses the actual blue eddy one that they give you for the solar and that's rated uh that's an 80 volt battery right and so the blue eddy here accepts 70 to 145 volts dc right and so if you have your seven and a half kilowatt external battery charged up ready to go there 
you know, ready to, to be used on a power outage, then all you have to do is just connect this cable in here, right? And then you, uh, the, you hear the fan, the fans just started kicking in there. Bam, now you start charging your EP500 at 1200 watts. And so if you're using less than 1200 watts, that's okay, then that percent counter uh, right there is gonna start going up. But if you're using 1200 watts, then it'll just, the energy will just go from here to here to your uh, transfer box here and then out into your lights and you know, whatever else that you're using, right? So this is a very easy way to add more battery to, in this case, more than double your capacity of your Blue Eddy. Now you just added 150. Now this becomes a 12 and a half uh, kilowatt hour system, right? So this is now a, a, a big power wall, right? And all you have to do is as simple as add this. Now, how do you charge this? Well, uh, something as easy as this. This is a uh, 120 volt. A charger and it has these little knobs here you just set it to like 94 volts because that's fully charged that's what this battery requires you connect that wire in there and then you connect this to the power once it comes back the power comes back and you're you have the grid then it'll take many hours to charge that right but you don't you don't need it fast charging right you just need it ready to go for the next uh event when you lose the power, right? So that is a super easy way to add more battery to the EP500, right? And this battery, I think we're gonna start carrying it. It's gonna be expensive. It's gonna be about 15 to $1,600, I think, for this battery. But this is a huge battery and it's brand new. It comes in these boxes, uh, you know, they've never been used. They're brand new for some reason. They were extras or something in a project and they didn't get used and there's we have hundreds of these we have pallets and pallets of them so we're gonna make these available and so yeah if you you know for the, all of you guys who are wondering if blue eddy is ever gonna allow you to add more battery to to the ep500 i don't know right i think they're talking about it i think they're they're saying the only way you can add more is by getting a second unit which are some benefits because then you can use split phase right this way is just a single circuit of 110 right up to 30 amps or something like that um you can wait for for them to officially do something or you can just take matter to your own hands and add a battery this is not the only battery that you can add to this there's other ways to add battery into the blue eddy uh that require you to take the the uh the covers off and connect to the actual terminals of the internal battery and what that'll allow you is just to basically not worry about the external battery. Like this one, you have to charge it, right, separately. When you can charge this one and then this one. Uh, the other one, it would just be part of the internal battery of the Blue Eddy, just uh, stored outside of the box, right? And that one will require a little bit more knowledge and maybe you're gonna have to maybe, I don't know, maybe even void your warranty on your Blue Eddy. I'll make a video on that system later on but for now this is the simplest way to do it and this you don't have to modify the your ep500 at all you just add with, with some of the existing cables so you know and so there you go you have 20 hours to go and get it uh after that i guess uh there might be a lapse where a uh, time where you can order this until then it becomes comes to the market and all that nonsense but there you go it's just a simple reminder Thank you. As always, thank you for all your support and for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. By the way, the next one's going to be fun because I'm going to add, I'm going to build a DIY electric bicycle for like super cheap, like sub $150 or something like that. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in that sort of stuff, I'm going to show you how to do that. All right. Bye.